Gracias. Grazie. Merci. Danke. Thanks. Welcome to Kids Church. Does anyone know how to say thank you in any other language? How about Hawaiian? Mahalo. Chinese is she she. Thank you in Portuguese is obrigado. Or sign language. We're saying thank you in every way that we know how because this month we are talking all about gratitude. Gratitude is letting others know you see how they've helped you. No matter what language you say it in, saying thank you rocks. And that's our bottom line this week, you guys. Really, really simple. Say thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Aiden. Hi, Xavier. Hi, Faith. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Campbell. Hey, Dexter. Thanks for being here at Kids Church with me. All right, you guys, our memory verse this month is all about saying thanks. It comes from Psalm 136, verse 1. Will you read it with me? Give thanks to the Lord because he is good. His faithful love continues forever. I have a really fun game for you guys that will hopefully help you memorize that awesome verse. It's called Quick Cups. All right? So to play it, you're going to need a Bible, um, some cups, uh, plastic, and a Sharpie. And here's what you're going to do. You're going to look up the verse, Psalm 136, 1a. It's just the beginning. And you're going to write one word from the verse at the very top of each cup. And you can get an adult to help. And once the verse is written on the cups, you're going to stack the cups on top of each other. And you're going to mix up the words so that they're all in a different order. Then, using a stopwatch to time you, you're going to unscramble the cups, the words, and put them in the right order, okay? And then stack them back up, okay? And then let everybody who wants to play have a turn. And then maybe at the end, do it again. See if you can beat your time and put that verse together a little bit faster. The more you play, the more you'll remember that awesome memory verse. All right, you guys, have fun. some truly incredible things. People were absolutely amazed about what he said and did. In um, the Bible, we can read about something that Jesus did that shows us something really important about gratitude. Check it out. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. Outside the village on the border between Samaria and Galilee lived 10 lepers. We didn't know their name or their stories, but we did know at least one of them was a Samaritan, a group that Jewish people distrusted. Call that man Zach. Hi there. I'm sorry, not allowed to shake your hand. 
Leprosy was a painful skin disease, and there was no doctors or medicines to treat it. But even worse than the sores were the loneliness. Lepers weren't allowed to be around anyone who were healthy, not even their own families. They had to keep more than a social distance. So if Zach had a wife or kids, probably hadn't seen him in years. Oh, my little boys. All grown up by now, I bet. The 10 lepers' life seemed hopeless. All they can do was stand back and yell at anybody who passed by. Stay away! Don't come close. But we do need food. If you could just leave some under that willow tree by the creek, uh, we'd be grateful. Then, one day, news reached the lepers of travelers approaching along the border road. Big crowd. Here it's that Jesus fella. The teacher? They say he makes sick people well. You're a Samaritan. <laughs> Why would he care about you? Hey, you know, what have I got to lose? Zach hobbled toward the road, walking stick in hand. The other lepers straggled after him. They can see a crowd now, traveling along the road. People won't like us standing so close. I'm not throwing away my shot. Zach can see faces now. The crowd grouped around a man in the middle. The man had a strong face and kind eyes. Jesus, master, have pity on us. To the leper's surprise, Jesus stopped right in the middle of the road. Jesus, master, Jesus, Jesus over have here. pity please. on us. Please have master. pity on us. The crowd around Jesus backed away, whispering. Jesus stood firm as Zach and the lepers dared to limp closer. Jesus! Master! Have pity on us! As the leopards neared, Jesus took a long, clear look. Everyone went silent. Zach could hardly breathe. Then Jesus smiled. Go. Show yourselves to the priests. Zach gasped. The only way a leopard could approach a priest was if that he confirmed that he had been healed. But as Zach glanced down, his heart sank. His knees and his feet were still shriveled and splotchy. His knees still ate. Oh. Jesus moved on, and the crowd followed. The lepers stared at each other. Well, that happened. I don't get it. Well, we should go to the priests, like he told us. Uh, I guess it can't hurt. Any more than it already does. Limping, the lepers headed out across the field towards the town. They hesitated as they reached the creek. We'll have to wade across. Painfully, the man clambered down the bank. Zach's stick got caught in the twisted root of a willow tree. <clears throat> the stick went flying, and he tumbled to the ground. Ouch! Instinctively, he jumped to his feet. How'd you do that? Do what? Just jump up. Zach glanced down again. This time, his feet and his legs were strong and whole, skin clear and healthy. Look, my skin, it's clean. The other man glanced down at their own arms and legs and bodies. I'm all better, woohoo! The lepers laughed and danced till they cried, amazed at what Jesus had done. You gotta get to the priest! Race you! The leopard splashed across the creek, hurling towards the town. Zach stopped at the water's edge, and the others ran ahead. I'll get to see my boys again. But even as Zach imagined the joy that would come, a face flashed in his head. Jesus, he's healed me. He's the one who's made me whole. Turning back, Zach hurried toward the road. He ran fast, catching up to Jesus and the crowd as they reached the village. Jesus? Jesus! The crowd parted quickly as Zach headed straight for Jesus. Praise God, I'm well! Zach threw himself down on the dusty road at Jesus' feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Zach lifted his head. Dust mixed with tears of joy. Jesus smiled but his eyes searched the row behind him. Weren't all 10 healed? Where are the other nine? As Zach shook his head, Jesus turned to the crowd. 
Didn't anyone else return to give praise to God except this outsider? Everyone was silent. It was clear that Zach was the only one. Jesus smiled down at him. Get up and go. Your faith has healed you. Zach leapt to his feet as he hurried to see the priests. He had delayed his chance to see his family by a short time, but it was worth it to see the man who had given him back his life. It's hard to believe, right, that only one of the 10 men came back to thank Jesus? It's crazy. But we can be like the man who did come back. We can choose to thank God for his love and his forgiveness. You guys, let's do that right now. Let's talk to God and thank him for being so good to us. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for all the things you've done for all of us. You love us so much that you sent us Jesus to be our savior. You care for each one of us and you want to have a relationship with each one of us. For all these things and so much more, we want to say thank you. Please help us to remember to say thank you to others when they've helped us too. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for God. I thank you for God. You guys, we can also say thank you to the people around us, to our family, to our friends, to our teachers, to our teammates, anyone who does something for us, even a stranger who just opens a door for us. When you're thankful, don't keep it inside. Remember David from last week, right? Dancing around. Let's try not to be in such a hurry that we forget to thank the people who've helped us. You guys, Say thank you. It's a pretty simple thing to do, but it can make a huge impact on others and on your relationships. Remember, it feels good to have others thank you, right, for the things that you've done. I like it when people say thank you. So treat others the way you want to be treated and take time to say thank you. One really creative way to say thank you to God for all that he has given you and all he's done for you is to give back to others. We have an awesome opportunity to do just that through the incredible program that the Barnabas Connection here in Wimberley has called the Christmas Store. The Christmas Store is a super festive event where folks in the community who don't have a lot of spending money um, to spend on Christmas presents for their children can come and do all of their shopping and buy brand new awesome items for their kids at a humongous discount. You can say thank you to God by giving brand new toys for all ages of kids or by donating any amount of money so that the Barnabas Connection can buy those things and stock that store with wonderful items like bikes and helmets and art supplies and so much more. So consider that you guys. Really, there are limitless ways to show God and other people that you're grateful. And we'll keep discovering some of them in the next few weeks. All right, till then, peace and love.